Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, Momondo design pattern implementation. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch Momondo design pattern introduction, Momondo design pattern class diagram, Momondo design pattern sequence diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Now we will see the scenario of uh, Momondo design pattern. So I buy a uh, 42 inch uh, LED TV which is uh, uh, 60,000 rupees and it won't support USB. Okay. So I buy this uh, LED TV and uh, I placed it in the hall. Okay. So after uh, some point of time, I'm thinking, okay, let me buy a 46 inch LED TV. Okay. So I buy a 46 uh, inch LED TV, which is uh, 80,000 rupees and uh, this 46 inch uh, LED TV supports uh, USB. Okay. So what I have to do is uh, I have to place this one in the hall, right? So already uh, in the hall, 42 inch TV is there. So what I have to do is I have to uh, put this uh, 40, 42 inch uh, LED TV in the storeroom and uh, place this 46 inch LED TV in the hall. Okay. After uh, some point of time, I am thinking, okay, let me buy a uh, 50 inch LED TV which cost uh, 1 lakh rupees and it supports uh, USB. Okay. So I buy this uh, 50 inch uh, LED TV. Uh, then uh, what I have to do is I have to place it in the hall, right? But in the hall now 46 inch LED, LED TV is there. So what I have to do is I have to take uh, 46 inch LED TV from the hall and put it in the storeroom and uh, place this 50 inch LED TV in the hall, right? So in the hall, uh, what is there is 50 inch LED TV. So after some point of time, I'm thinking, okay, uh, let me use 42 inch LED TV. Uh, the clarity of uh, 50 inch LED TV is not good. So I have to basically restore or roll back, right? So what I have to do is I have to put this uh, 50 inch LED TV in the storeroom. And from uh, storeroom, I have to take uh, 42 inch LED TV and place it in the hall. So basically, uh, what I am doing is I am roll back to the previous uh, state. Okay, this is the best example of uh, Momondo design pattern. Um, so this kind of uh, restore or uh, roll back scenario we can use uh, Momondo design pattern. Okay, now we will see the class diagram of uh, this scenario. Uh, okay, uh, this is the class diagram of the scenario which we have just seen. So here you can see LED TV class uh, which uh, represents uh, LED TV. It has uh, three attributes, uh, size, price and USB support. And it has uh, getter and uh, setter method for size, price and USB support. Suppose if you want to create a LED TV object, you have to just call this uh, constructor by passing uh, size price and usb support and the left side you can see originator which is uh, nothing but uh, hall which we have seen uh, here so this hall has uh, led tv object and getter and setter method uh, for led tv and uh, the originator has uh, create momento method so what this method will do is it will create the momento object and uh, it will set originator internal state to the momentum okay and basically uh, this method is used to take the current snapshot of uh, originator and uh, put it in the momentum and it has another method called uh, set momentum and the parameter should be a momentum object so what this method is uh, uh, doing is uh, it is uh, it will uh, take uh, uh, state from the momento object and uh, set it to the originator okay basically this method is used to uh, restore or roll back okay and uh, momento object uh, so it has led tv uh, which hold the internal uh, state of originator and the right side you can see a caretaker which is nothing but uh, storeroom which we have seen and uh, so what is the uh, use of uh, caretaker is uh, it will maintain the moment object. So here uh, it maintains the LED TV as a array list. 
and it has a method to add the moment object uh, to this particular array list and it has uh, get momento method uh, here you have to pass the index so based on the index value it will give the particular uh, momento object okay suppose uh, you want to uh, restore or roll back uh, then you can get the old momento object uh, from the caretaker by calling this get momento method okay so basically this is a class diagram uh, we will see the code in eclipse i will open the eclipse and uh, show you okay i have opened eclipse uh, now we will see the code so in the down you can see led tv class so i opened uh, led tv dot java and it has uh, three attributes size price and usb support and uh, getter and setter method for uh, size price and usb support and it has uh, led tv constructor suppose if you want to create led tv object then you have to pass size price and usb support to this constructor okay and uh, next class is uh, momento class so i will open uh, momento class uh, so this momento object is uh, used to store the internal state of uh, originator so the originator has uh, LED TV as an internal state. So it has LED TV here, and uh, setter and getter method uh, for LED TV attribute. And uh, right side you can see caretaker, which is nothing but uh, store room, uh, which is used to store the uh, LED TVs, old LED TVs. So I open caretaker dot Java and uh, this caretaker uh, is used to maintain the momento objects and it has a method to add the momento in the led tv list and uh, suppose if you want to get a uh, old momento object you have to just call this get momento method by passing the index and uh, next class is originator So originator is nothing but a hall which has LED TV or LED TV in it and here you can see LED TV object and getter and setter method for LED TV object and it has a create momento method so what this method will do is it will create the new momento object and set the originator internal state to the momento object okay and it has uh, set momento method you have to pass the momento object so this method is uh, used for uh, restore or roll back so you have to pass the momento object from the momento object it will get the internal state and assign to the originator internal state and next class is uh, momento client so this is used to explain this uh, momento design pattern so initially originator has uh, 42 inch led tv so originator is nothing but a hall which has uh, led tv and uh, later i buy a 46 inch led tv so i have to move uh, 42 inch led tv to the uh, store room so in this case caretaker is a store room. so i am creating the momento object and uh, adding to the caretaker okay so like that uh, later uh, i buy a 50 inch led tv so i have to put uh, 46 inch led tv in the store room so i am creating the momento object and i put it in the caretaker so now the current state is uh, current state of uh, originator is 50 inch led tv right so i'll just run this one so you can see uh, caretaker initially it has 42 inch after that i am adding uh, 46 inch led tv so you can see a uh, caretaker has uh, two led tv in it as a list and uh, current originator uh, state is 50 inch led tv and after uh, some point of time uh, uh, i am deciding to restore it to the 42 inch so what i am doing is i am getting the 42 inch uh, momento object and set it to the originator 
so you can see originator restoring 242 in jelly tv so after uh, restoring 242 in jelly tv uh, originator current state is 42 inch uh, led tv you can see here so using this moment of pattern uh, we can uh, restore or uh, roll back to the old state and uh, this is the best example of uh, moment of design pattern I hope uh, you understand this uh, implementation very clearly and I have put together all this sample code in my blog called uh, Ramjeti. You can uh, just visit this uh, site and you can get the sample code. And uh, this is about uh, Momento Design Pattern implementation and thanks for watching. Bye.